our team. Yesterday, Mark presented results of a human study of using laser therapy. And the results of this show that when we have people that are physically or emotionally compromised, we may be able to get a better result than we do with our traditional means. But I don't think at this time that it's any substitute in predictability for treating deep osseous lesions. And here you can see a deep defect and the end of the junctional epithelium is far beyond the bone, but at the time of uh, the block, which was six or eight months later, there's, you see no signs of inflammation. But I wouldn't mistake this for a substitute for what we do. And yet, in one case, there were different degrees of regeneration, but this was a hopeless molar, and suddenly bone began to fill in on the mesial surface. And if we look at the histology of this, we can see new cementum, new bone, and new periodontal ligament all the way up to the occlusal level of the defect. So there's a potential. We can't close our mind and say things don't work because we don't understand them. And we can't say techniques and materials don't work because I never did them, so they couldn't work. I think we really have to have an open mind and look forward to the advances that have occurred. I don't want to go back to practicing as I did in 1980.